Hello, in this video I will demonstrate how to install IBMI off a USB drive. First thing we want to do is download all the media to populate the USB stick. Um, the main difference between USB and DVD or image catalog for that matter is there's a special iBase image you have to download. It's the utility for bootable license internal code USB downloads as a zip file from the ESS website um, once you extract that you'll get a jar utility I've already inserted a blank USB drive as seen down here go ahead and run that Point it to the license internal code image. Also, a special download. You can see it's labeled USB iBase 01 license internal code image instead of just iBase 01 image. Also, downloaded from the ESS support website. Point it to the USB drive, already there in this case. Hit create media. Watch and see what happens down here. When that's done, that will be a bootable USB stick, just like a iBase DVD. However, you can also add other images to it. The rest of the OS set, um, PTF groups, so that after you do your lick install you can continue on with the OS and PTFs right from the same USB stick uh, you don't have to burn those DVDs and go down and swap them out alright it's almost done we'll take a look at the drive how it looks when it's done here quick before we start copying the rest of our images to it Alright, copy has completed. You can notice the uh, USB stick now has been renamed from USB whatever I called it is now called iBase underscore USB and looks exactly like an iBase DVD would if you pop that in your DVD drive and you could boot from this right now but like I mentioned we want to add some more stuff to it so I will add the rest of the OS DVDs to it and my PTFs And while that's running, let's take a look at some of these files on the ESS website, in case you're not familiar with them. Once you log in, go to uh, Software, and Downloads, switch to IBMI and your OS level. And what I do is I just select the first one. There's probably lots of different ways to go about this. Pick your language group. Go to the bottom and hit I agree. And what I do is I click this HTTP link down here at the bottom. Now it lists all the separate images you can download directly. You've got your B groups just like normal. I'm going to focus on the iBase ones. So I'll do Control Find for iBase. So that's the actual DVD if you were going to burn it. 
This one is the USB image. See, it starts with USB and ends with a .img. And then the USB utility. Bootable, utility for bootable image <laughs> license machine code. Um, you just download those, extract the zip file. That's the same thing we launched over here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pause this until my copying's done. At that point, I'm going to eject the USB drive from my PC and insert it into the uh, Power 7 system. And I'll be back in a minute. All right, it's almost done copying the images to the USB stick. Uh, you can copy any image there. It doesn't have to just be the, the OS set as well. I didn't mention that earlier, but here I've got um, cloud storage solutions. I could put that there as well, and, and that would work just fine. So let's take a look at our DVD, or our USB stick here. So we've got all the stuff we had on there for the iBase plus all the new things. So I'm going to go ahead and eject this now and put it in the server and start powering it up. I'll be right back. Okay, I have the USB stick loaded in the system. Uh, for reference, this is a picture of a Power 7. Same box I have at home here. Um, this front port uh, USB, that's where I have the stick loaded. <laughs> And uh, there are some ports in the back. I believe those will work as well, but um, front always works for me. So that's what I'm using right now. Um, one thing you'll need to do is double check your tag dio. Make sure you have the uh, USB card is defined to this system, the cell power. So let's go take a look at our uh, profile. We'll work on power A. Go into the profiles. All right. So if you go to IO, what I've got here is a P1T7. That drives the USB port. I've got it desired so I can move it between my LPARs as needed. Tagged IO. Alternate restart device is P1T7. That'll help it to uh, have it boot off the USB stick. So let's go ahead and get that going. You can see I had it set to D manual, but I'm going to override it here anyway. Activate. D. If you had to change your profile, um, you'll want to drop this box down and select the profile name instead of the current config. That uh, might not pick up the changes if you made them. D, same as if we're booting off a DVD. Hit finish. So you can see it's uh, 10.06 when I start this. I'll, I'll pause it after it gets going here and start the recording back up once uh, we have the install lick screen so you can see how long it actually took uh, real time instead of just in the recording. So while that's going, we'll open up ACS and get our console session going. Okay, and I'll pause it now and be back uh, as soon as we got a screen. Okay, so we just got our select language group screen up here. It is 10.35 and we started at 10.06. So almost 20 minutes it takes to boot off a uh, USB stick. Uh, it's quite a bit slower than DVD 
in the past. Uh, I believe I saw an IBM article once that stated it's because when it boots up, it, it converts the USB drive to a USB 1.0 standard, uh, which would be a lot slower than the 3.0 USB stick I have in there. Uh, don't remember if that's uh, accurate or not, but I, I believe I saw that somewhere. Might explain for the the slow boot time on it, but anyway. Um, at this point, you would go ahead and install Lick just like normal. Uh, there's absolutely nothing different you need to do at this point. I'm going to go ahead and run through that, pause where I can, and uh, once I've got a, an OS up or a command line up, I'll show you the image catalog and how to how to work with it at this point. Apparently he called Nancy Pelosi yesterday morning, I believe, and talked about this legislation. 